Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to start making the item database for our game. Last time we made this switching system with animations. It doesn't work perfectly as you can see but it works. And this is something that we need to create our um, pickup system. So eventually we're going to be able to come to a weapon, aim at it, press E or any other button and then equip it. But for that we do need the item database. That's what we're going to create today. This is very simple actually and uh, quite easy. We'll need a new script first. So go and create a new C sharp script. This one is going to be called weapon. You can call it item, you can call it gun if you want to. But this one we're not going to place on any object. This is just so we can uh, arrange some things. First off, since this is not going to be on any object, we can delete mono behavior right here. This is basically like the stats of the weapon. What we need is a public string, for example, name. So this will be the weapon name. Then we would have a public float, for example, ammo. A public float for damage. Public float for fire rate. Of course, we need a public game object, weapon object. We will need some kind of a public float for range. Now for the ammo, we, we're going to come here and change this later since we're going to use it in a reloading system, but that's for later. And one more thing, we need a public integer called item ID. We're going to use a system similar to, for example, Skyrim, where each item has its ID and then there is one big item database that's connected with IDs. For example, number one would be a sword, number two will be a gun, number three will be a table, for example. And whenever you instantiate an object, you can just go to the database, take the integer and find your item. Hopefully that makes sense. Now we need the actual database, so create another script called item database. This script is going to be on an object, so we do need mono behavior. But in here we're just going to create a variable. In here we're going to create a list. A list is something like an array, but it's more inf it's infinite. Well, it's not infinite. It does have like a maximum number, but it's like in billions or trillions or something. And we're not going to have that many items. So we're just going to create a public list. And then it's going to be a list of weapons. It's going to be equal to a new list of weapon. So basically we just create a list of these scripts. We should attach this to a game object. So that will be a nice time to create an um, empty object in our scene and rename this object to game manager or game controller actually. You can name it whatever you want. But this is kind of the object that is always in the scene and it's going to control the game. You can go to the tag up here and change it to game controller just so we don't have to do that later. And then take the item database and drag it onto the game controller. Go to your weapon script and up here above the class name and everything, just type in system dot serializable. This should allow us to see it in the inspector. If you go to your game controller, you can see that you have kind of a tab for weapons. If you open it up, you get the size and now you can change the size to four. I think we have four weapons. And you, if you open it up, you can see that each one has its elements. For example, Element 0, if we go to our prefabs or, or our weapons, this will, for example, be the M9. I'll drag the M9 weapon object to the, well, the weapon object. Change the name to M9. Item ID will be 0. I think we can keep it like that. Damage, we'll change this later. Fire rate, we'll change later. L range, we'll change later. And ammo, we'll change later. But this is the basic item database that you can use. And now whenever we are in the game, or we're in runtime, 
we can just get the game controller, get the database, and then we can find any object that we need. Hopefully that makes sense, but this is it for today. In the next episode, we're going to expand on this and hopefully start making some um, pickup systems. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment down below for more suggestions. Uh, you can subscribe, follow me on my Patreon or my social media. There's links to that in the description. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.